Montana State is into the second round of the FCS playoffs. The Bobcats will head to Fargo on Saturday to square off with the nation's number one team and the defending champions from North Dakota State. With Bobcat radio analyst Dan Davies, I'm Jay Sanderson. Dan, Montana State's one four straight has a little bit of momentum headed into this game. What do you think has factored into this winning streak? Well, I think Coach Choate and his staff have, have come up with a plan to wear people down in the fourth quarter and, and just by being able to roll people in and out, particularly on defense, I think that's really been the formula for success to get the Bobcats to this point. And North Dakota State's defense has been dominant all season. They've only given up more than two touchdowns in a game one time. Opponents have only been in the red zone 20 times in 11 games and scored touchdowns on just six of those 20 trips down into the red zone. What has made their defense so special? Well, I think it's, it's stood the test of time. I mean, they have a system in place and they've been able to reload and reload. And this year, however, they have a, a large class of seniors so that are gonna go out. But nonetheless, it's, it's a time-tested system that they've got in place and it's just been very successful for them. And they've just been able to maintain that consistency year in and year out. Offensively, North Dakota State and Montana State have similar approaches. They're both headlined by the run game, but when North Dakota State does throw it, they're one of the more efficient teams in the nation, averaging in the neighborhood of 16 yards per completion. It's a balanced attack, so in dealing with the Bison offense, what challenge does Montana State have? It's a tough challenge, there's no doubt about it, because they are so balanced, uh, run and pass. The, the trick is, is you're gonna have to take some chances to try to keep them off balance, but they're so efficient, they make people they make people pay when you do make a mistake, and if they find an open guy, whether it's a seam in the, in the running game or it's a seam downfield, they uh, are very efficient in finding that person. So for Montana State to win this game, to get, make the upset, what has to happen? Well, I think you're gonna have to take some chances, but you can't be too overly aggressive on defense. Um, the, in, in terms of the offensive side, you've got to take care of the ball. You've got to be efficient, have long sustained drives that end in touchdowns, not extra points or yeah. field goals. I'm sorry. Montana State travels to North Dakota State on Saturday for the second round of the FCS playoffs. We'll be there for all of it. So we invite you to join, to join Dan, uh, Jason Alvin, and me for the broadcast all across the Bobcat Sports Network. Our pregame coverage takes the air at noon. With the Bobcat Hall of Famer Dan Davies, I'm Jay Sanderson for MSUBobcats.com.